The title of my story is Wait For It. I'm a small town police officer and it's Thanksgiving morning. The weather outside is about the first snowfall of the year. And so it's cool, crisp outside, a little chill in the air. Um, while I'm out on patrol, I gotta do property checks and that really entails just driving around buildings, schools, churches, business owners, property, manufacturing plants, make sure everything's clean and orderly. Pretty simple in that sense. Well, this morning, I get a call. I hear on the box talks to me. The box says, Central 34, that's my badge number. I pick up the microphone and respond, 34, go Central. And the box still keeps talking to me. And they tell me to proceed to the residence and assist a female with a broken down car. That well, sounds pretty simple. Should be a good call to go on. I get to the residence and I meet with the lady and she tells me that her son, his wife, and the grandkids are coming over for Thanksgiving Day uh, feast that day. Sounds great, just like everybody else in the country enjoying Thanksgiving. And uh, she says she's got to go to Dan's grocery market. She has to get some more supplies for the fixings, um, but the house smells great. You know, I'm starting to smell the turkey come through and the, the cherry pie has really uh, got a good, strong um, uh, aroma to it. And I said, well, let's go check out your car. We'll see what we can do. I'm not a mechanic, but I know a little bit, maybe enough just to be dangerous. And we get out to the car put the keys in, it won't start at all. It doesn't even turn over. It sounds like kind of maybe a battery issue. And uh, we get out of the car, I pop the hood, and so I'm checking over the battery, and I give a little tug on the cables, and notice one's just got a little wiggle to it. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but she happens to have a wrench in the garage, and I fix it, get it tightened up, and uh, she starts car perfect. So now she can get to Dan's market. She's really excited about that because now she can get one step closer to getting all of her supplies that she wants. And uh, I walk back to my car, get ready to call to the box saying I'm gonna clear the call. Then I hear some sounds. I hear <laughs> smash, boom, thud. My jaw is hanging down on the steering wheel, what I've just seen. Let me explain that to you just before I go on. She accelerates so rapidly from the garage, she speeds out the driveway, and if you know those local streets at all, they usually have that little hump in there. The first crash I hear was her bottoming out the car. Sparks go flying. Then, she darts into the neighbor's driveway across the street, sideswipes the house, and crashes into the garage door. I quit, get out of the car, run over. Long story short there, she's okay. Medicals have to show up, and uh, she's alert, oriented. Um, her vitals are good, and so, you know, I'm just saying thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, that she's okay. Because um, it's a very nerve-wracking moment. About that time, the family shows up. The son is, comes up to me and we start talking about the sequence of events that had just occurred. I let him know what the call was about and why I was there. And we talked about that for a little bit. Then he drops this little bombshell on me. Officer, about uh, two weeks ago, I disconnected or loosened the cable because my mother's not driving so well lately. <laughs> there goes my jaw again. Drop down, pick it back up. And I tell him, well, Officer Dudley do right really had an in, uh, influence here. And I was hoping that she would just simply get to Dan's grocery market down the block and get her, her uh, recipes for her... her uh, Thanksgiving Day dinner. He heard in the background her calling for him. We realized at that point in time, she's okay, that's what counts. I walk back to my car, 
get in and I'm driving around and I'm thinking about the report that I've got to write on this situation. <laughs> now, it has to be carefully worded. There has to be proper structure and context. Then all of a sudden I hear this voice in my head. It's my ninth grade English teacher <laughs> saying, I told you you would have this day coming. <laughs> now, whether how I absorb descriptive writing, I'm still a little bewildered about it. I'm sure she is as well. Because maybe it was just simple osmosis. I'm not sure she thought that I was really paying attention. But I was paying attention to it, and it, I could hear that ring in my head, you know, almost 20 years later. Then I'm in the parking lot driving around, and I'm turning around, and boom, I hit the brakes and stop. There's Dan's market. Big sign on it. Close for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you.